Good morning everyone, the sun is rising. Beautiful sun, but we did not have a beautiful sleep. It was far from beautiful. <laughs> it wasn't a very protected anchorage and uh, the anchor chain was planking all night. It was really disruptive. It, it's weird sometimes I think when you have a disruptive sleep as opposed to actually having like night watches where you do three hours sleep and then three hours on watch and then three hours sleep. I think I think it's actually worse, uh, especially because the clanking and the noise and the sudden jolts of the boats when when the wind's picking up when you're asleep. I think it gives you that extra sort of surge of adrenaline. And then you're awake and then you try back to sleep again. And then you're awake. Anyway, all is fine. Eighty miles to do today. Only <laughs> only Yay. eighty miles to do today. <laughs> oh, is that a sailing boat? Who's that? I, I wonder if that's... Uh, I think they're coming in. It might be Peter. It's a Mohin. It's a Mohin. Is it Peter? Yeah, it's Peter. Oh my Let's goodness. He's, he's put some shame there. Last night when we were in the bay, I saw another boat that was tucked right inside the bay over there. I just saw it at the top of a mast. We've just realised that it was our friend Peter, who we did know was going up the coast of Bahamas towards America. Um, but they're over there in that boat there and that must have been them that was tucked in to the coastline. I mean, they're a catamaran, so they would have got right in close to the shallow waters. Sadly, we couldn't have done that. But we just got a message from them this morning saying, morning, just passing south of you, the race is on. Dear, like a red dear rag Lord. To a <laughs> Honestly, if you can give boys a race, well, these boys anyway. Dear Lord, I do not feel like racing this morning. So it's Catamaran versus Mono. We're gonna we're gonna stop all this uh, pro cat talk once and for all once we win. <laughs> I was thinking about stopping for breakfast on one of those beautiful cruise ships over there. What does everybody else want to do? So a quick race update, um, we are definitely holding our own against the lagoon, we're, we're quite a way past uh, Peter now, um, but we've just been overtaken by a, a 50 foot Utremer, um, so he's just schooled all of us I think. We were doing uh, around about 9 knots and I looked at the AIS, he was doing 11.6 knots, so I think he might win. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's motor sailing, I doubt it though. <laughs> Makes me feel better. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that there on camera, but our waves are definitely getting bigger. Okay, nice bit of spray. in Great Syrup Cay for the night. We have since learnt that the two islands next to each other are separately and privately owned by the Norwegian Cruise Liner and the Royal Caribbean, which are within the top three liners in the world. The islands are only 140 miles east of Miami, which makes them the idyllic place for cruise ships to take passengers and enjoy a beautiful slice of the Bahamas. As we saw along this stretch of ocean, the cruise ships have been floating idle, with engines still running and the islands empty of people. The cruise ships still run their engines, waiting for COVID to disappear. Tragically, this has cost the cruise liners billions in lost revenue. So we're 
absolutely screaming along at the moment. We're doing nine knots and we're just going along the side of the coastline. And there's a couple of oil rigs and a load of tankers anchored here. And uh, Lope Bahim, the catamaran we were racing, they are, let's have a look at them. They are, they're doing 6.4 knots. They're six and a half miles behind us. But we've still got, what have we got? We've got, um, I think we've got about 15 miles to the anchorage. So it's not over yet. two miles away from the anchorage um, we've been going pretty well if we look at the trip we've averaged 8.1 knots today and we've done 76 miles in uh, nine hours 26 minutes um, and our max speed was 14.4 knots that was probably down a wave or something but it's been a pretty good sail um, so our friends on the lagoon catamaran they are um, I think they're about eight miles behind us, um, but they did catch a nice mahi-mahi, so they lost the race, but they won the fishing competition. Not that we were fishing anyway, but anyway, that's uh, good for them. Um, but yeah, hopefully this anchorage is sheltered and uh, we'll spend a couple of days here. We've arrived. Thank goodness. Hopefully we're gonna get some sleep tonight looking a little bit better than the other bay did last night there's another one two three four five boats here and this is pretty much the most northern point of Bahamas West End is the oldest and westernmost settlement on the Bahamian island of Grand Bahama looking across to America it is less than 45 miles in parts up until the mid 19th century Grand Bahama Island had largely been left alone by the outside world. Large and small ships just sailed straight past due to the treacherous shallows of coral reefs that surround the island. Though it wasn't unheard of in tough times for the locals to lure ships onto the coral reefs by specially placed lanterns, of which today you can now find many shipwrecks. Look at these little houses. Pink, blue, green, orange. It's like cotton candy land. We're having real difficulty anchoring. We are just in the bay here. And it says on the charts that it's really bad for anchoring. It's very rocky. So the holding ground is really quite bad. We've anchored once and it's pulled. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't stick. And we've tried it again. We're on a thousand RPM, so we're holding back on it and it's really windy and it seems to be holding. So... Yeah, usually we pull back a lot more. Than yeah. That, so. Let's just try and let it settle first and then see. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I think if we put the snubber on, Come that'll on. be another five meters as well. Yeah. I, think I think it's jumping over a few rocks yeah. and then, yeah, you can see it's dragging. Look, it's wobbling, it's dragging. So we've put another 10 down. We've now got 65 meters of chain. You see where the yellow piece of uh, string is? That's 65. Um, so James is going to come off the engine now. So we're no longer revving and it's just the wind holding us back. The problem evidently here is that it's very thin sand on rock. So that's why it's sliding because the sand is obviously skimming over the rock and then it tries to hold and all it is is just skimming over the top of the, the rock. Um, so, and that's what those big nice blue patches look like. They look like lovely pieces of sand and they're actually rock with a little bit of sand over the top. So we'll probably go and dive on those later and see what they're like. We're checking out of West Bay 
Tomorrow we're going to leave about 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock. We're going to have a little bit of a lie-in. And then we're going to start our three, maybe four day passage up to America. Very excited. were looking a little lighter than we had hoped for tomorrow so we decided to fill up the jerry cans just in case yeah and yeah what well, can we leave the boat here for whilst we do customs no i think it's best you to go over there i oh, really yeah, <laughs> yeah it's very very busy <laughs> hello hello Bruce. hello It is cool, bit of 80s. I don't think there's a customs office anywhere in the world where you can be drinking a cocktail, be wearing next to nothing and dancing to Michael Jackson at full volume. You've got to love the Bahamas. Dancing with me. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Just gonna get some drinks, please. <laughs> Cheers, Captain. Yeah. Cheers. Did you say it's missing some runs or it's missing Run. some rum? Probably, well, you probably either well, need a couple inverted. of extra runs or some rum in order to use it, I think. <laughs> We caught up with our friend Peter from La Bohème and said our fair winds before we set off tomorrow. Hello. I just saw you had two dogs. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh. What do you have? Two chihuahuas. Two oh. chihuahuas. I'm trying to persuade him to get a dog, but. Yeah. Are you on a boat? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. It yeah. is, but they're so much fun. But you're limited where you can anchor. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Getting a party on a boat, which is hard. Yeah. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Oh. So this size is good, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. The size is good because they're so easy to just put in a dinghy. You know. Yeah. After trying to convince James to get a dog on board, and without much luck. We went to explore the island. You want to walk up the, up the top there? Yeah. All water on the other side there. You can take the mini jet round there if you want. Yeah, let's go and have a look and see what's there. Let's see if it's a whole thing. You have been eating quite a lot recently. <laughs> You see me at Big Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you at Big Beach, no. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's lovely. Wow, this is so nice. Oh, oh it feels like I'm on the same boat. Alright, shall I come back later for you? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is, that is very comfortable. 
quite easily spend an afternoon here with a cocktail. <laughs> All on our own, look. <laughs> Nobody else here. Just us. Oh wow, look how gorgeous that is. Stunning. Look, little deck chairs for you and I. <laughs> One each. Perfect. getting the code zero ready for tomorrow obviously we don't really want to be doing this tomorrow whilst we're sailing uh, it's not strong winds tomorrow um, so we're slightly worried that we might not have any wind because in some uh, at some hours of the day in the next few days it goes down to two knots we're not actually going to put the code zero out today we're just going to test it to make sure it's the right way the last thing we want to do is get out there and then realise we've put it on the wrong side. Okay, carry on. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, it's wrapping. Next time aboard Equus. We celebrate the end of the Bahamas with a delicious but not so traditional Bahamian dinner. We catch not one, not two, but three fish on our journey through the Gulf Stream. And with very little wind, we are super glad to have filled up the jerry cans. <laughs>